We open up your box, you'll have a pile of red, cyan, blue, green, and yellow tubes. Uh, there's different sizes in there, so right now you're just gonna have to sort through them according to the instruction manual and um, sort them so you don't mix up the tubes, because if you mix up the tubes, you'll end up with a situation where you can't assemble the dome. And along with those tubes, there are these spacing black pieces, the zip ties you need for assembly, the ground hooks, this little folded over cardboard that holds the hardware and tools, and the disc link. So first step is to get the tubes and lay them out like this. This is a G1 tube, a G2 tube, two of the green E2 tubes, and then two of the E tubes. You also need the part L, the little black rubber spacer, and then you need the hardware, which you'll get from the hardware pack number one. It's one of the bolts up on top. It's an M8 32 millimeter bolt. So you'll pull one of those out, and then on top of that, you'll come to the second hardware pack and get two of the little washers right here, the 22 millimeter washers, and then uh, one of the spring washers. You'll get the washers, and you'll put one on the little bolt that makes up this. So one washer on that side, and then on the longer sleeve one, you'll put the little spring washer on there, and then you'll put the flat washer with the smooth shaft bolt with the one spring washer. You get that, then what you do is you get this one, get the second one, get this E2, and you'll stack the black piece. Then you get the green one, and then you get the G2 right there, and then finally the G1. And then the smaller shaft of the bolt on top with one big washer. And then once again, remember that the G1 and G2 form this V shape. You need to make sure that's like that. And then we're gonna put this back together and tighten it up a little bit so that it'll hold its shape for step two. For step two, I'm gonna get the cyan tubes. So this is 2B. I'm gonna get five of these and put them around. Uh, this tube right here is tube C. This tube has to go right here between tube G2 and G1. When I look this up, you'll see that there's the bends right here between those two tubes. You need to make sure to put the tube C, the cyan tube tube C right here, or else you won't be able to correctly build the dome. When you're installing these tubes, you'll see that the tube section is straight, but these little flanges bend down slightly. You want those bend down sections to be pressed against the tube walls. So for the hardware, you're gonna to come to the hardware pack number two, right here it says hardware pack two of two. Uh, you're gonna get one of these bolts and then one of the spring washers. Here, I'm gonna get the smooth section of the bolt. I'm gonna get one spring washer and then the other end of the bolt, which is the smaller threaded section. Now I'm gonna get the B tube and the C tube and align the holes, push, the smooth section with the spring washer through the hole on the G2, and then I'm going to catch the threaded bolt with the smooth bolt and attach it. And I'm going to repeat this all the way around. So once you're done, the hexagon will look like this. So for step three, we're going to install one blue tube D. The blue tube D must be on the opposite side of tube C. And just a reminder of the bend. This bend has to be on the opposite side of where you install tube D. And then on this side, we're gonna put one tube D1. So make sure that's there. And then for the hardware, we're gonna to come to hardware pack uh, one of two, and we're gonna get the little bolts right here on the second row. The ones that are just right above the Allen tool. We're gonna to get those. We're gonna get the smooth section of that bolt, put a spring washer, we're gonna put a flat washer, and then on the opposite threaded side of the bolt, you're gonna get one flat washer, and then you're gonna to come to this side, 
And we're going to install one hardware set. So here, we'll put this. This set of hardware right now, this will be installed temporarily. This will just be to hold the tube in place. Uh, for a later step, we will remove that to assemble another tube onto there. Now I'm going to do the same thing again with the smooth section. One spring washer, one flat washer, and then on the threaded side, I'm going to get one flat washer, and then I'm going to install it over there to connect the D2, the D1 tube, and the red E tube. So here I'm going to put the D tube in front, the red tube, and then the D1 tube. So the smooth side of the bolt, I'm installing from the back side, and then the threaded side, I'm going to put it from the front. And this piece of hardware should not need to be removed again. So just lay that there, hand tighten them enough so you have some room to move it, but not have it fall apart. And then you will repeat this step again for the four, uh, three other sections of this that you've already assembled. So here I've taken the assembled sections and I set them up like this. These red tubes are the ones with the V-band, so part C as mentioned in the other steps where you must have part C here. So these are the part C ones, these are the part C ones here. So make sure you set up like this for the next step. Uh, here we're going to get one part D and stick it right here with these red ones between three, three green ones and then here we're going to put a D1 and that's going to go right there. Next we'll get one zip tie and one black pocket. First you want to feed the zip tie to the tube D1 that's over here on this side, and one go. And then feed it through the next tube. You want to make sure those are bent downwards, that they're all bent downwards when you're feeding this tube. Then you get the black bits over here on the top. Then on top of that, you bring the green tubes. And then now that you have those together, you bring this last tube to D tube. That tree. And then you bring the pipe together and zip it to hold it together. And we'll repeat that for the four other sides of the dome. For the next step, you want to come here and remove this hardware that you already installed it. Keep the hardware that was there, it should be. This new section of bolt, one spring washer, one flat washer, and then the third section of bolt, one flat washer. So now that you have that, you will get this tube that you just zip tied. It's D1 tube with a hole, and you'll just stack these all together. And put the hardware back through. And then repeat that three more times for the other sections of the dome. So, for this next step, step five, we're going to start raising the dome. So, to start doing that, we're going to zip tie this tube D. G2 and G1 together. We're going to do that with one zip tie. So if you do that, bring these up, align the hole. So the two reds go on the bottom and then the blue one goes on top. Except for now, when we come to the opposite side, we do this one. So once again, make sure that the tube is on top and you're not twisting the tube in an orientation that's going to cause it to difficult to install the hardware on that side. So here, bring this up. I'll hold this one up with the other leg. Like that. It also helps that I'm on a carpeted surface, so doing this on grass would be good. The grass will help keep the parts from sliding away from you, so try to avoid doing this part on some sort of concrete floor or something where they'll slide out. For step six, we're going to install the tube A from this hole and this hole. Make sure you get a tube A, and not a tube F. Tube F is almost the same size. It's a little bit longer, but if you install tube F here, it'll encounter a problem where you'll never be able to get this assembled. So make sure tube A. To install the tube A, come to hardware pack 202. You'll get one of these bolts in the second row here. I have them already. You'll get uh, one spring washer. Put the spring washer on the smooth section of the bolt. 
bring it in from the back, and then mount the tube pick. Now with that installed, do the same thing, get the other smooth section of the bolt, let's pretty much wrong. Bring it from the back, and then bring this tube together, and then install the threaded section of the bolt. Leave those hand tightened for now. Uh, you can see I have the other tubes set up, so I'm going to go around, bring all these tubes together. So for step seven, we're going to assemble the top of the dome. So for step seven, we'll need the hard part that's on pack 202. It's this single bolt set up right here at the bottom. So here I have it already taken out of the pack. But we'll need one smooth section. We'll put the spring washer on there. We'll put the flat washer. Then on the other end, the small thread shaft, you'll put one flat washer. Next, you'll come and you'll stack all these up. These are all the part F tubes. So make sure you have the part F. These are the ones that you were warned about not using in the previous step. So here, you see I'm lining the hole. And then I'll get the smooth section because it's longer. Put it up through the bottom. And then I'll meet it with the other bolt. Fasten that like that for now. Just hand tightened, just so it can keep the shape. So for step eight, you're going to come and remove the zip tie that you installed here previously. Cut that off. Use them like that. And you're going to get two D2 tubes. D2. I'm going to put these right here for now. Just so they're ready for me. Next, I'm going to get a cross piece. And I'm going to put this up on my shoulder like this so that it's helping hold it up. And I need one zip tie and then the black puck. So I'm going to put the black puck on top of the blue tube. Then I'm going to start feeding zip tie through the holes of the red tubes, both of them, through the blue tube, through the black puck, and then I'm going to get one of these D2 tubes, place that on top there, use the blue tube to help me hold it up, and do the same thing over here, get the second D2 tube, place it on top, then I'm going to get this tube, put it on, and then just zip tie these together, and then I'm going to repeat the same thing over here, over here, and behind me. So for step nine, we're going to come and get one of the bolts from hardware pack one of two. It's the M832 hardware. So I'm going to get one of these. The smooth section, I'm going to put one spring washer, one flat washer, and then on the opposite section, the threaded section, I'm going to put one flat washer. So here, we're going to try to line all the holes because from the building, they've all moved around. So here, it should be the black puck. The two tubes that are coming up from the bottom, they should be behind the three tubes coming from the top. And the black puck should space between those tubes. So we could either try tightening up the zip tie a little bit more to get them to go where they should be. So here, the zip ties help me get them to about where they need to be but still having a hard time. So I would get one of these ground stakes and to help me, I'd put it through the holes and get them to align better. So that I've gotten the ground stake through, so I can tighten the zip tie a little bit more to hopefully hold that alignment because ideally we want to be able to put the hardware we put together through the back end and then have it be accessible for the offset bolts. So here, I'm gonna try it. I'm actually using the ground stake to guide the bolt through. It's right here, you see? and try to have that guided through. And here, you can see on the opposite side where I can see the threaded opening for the threaded bolt. And I will start to fit those two together. And so ideally, this is how it should go. Tighten these up, 
so that you don't lose this, because this can be difficult to achieve. I'm going to tighten these up a little bit with the tools just to be sure that I don't lose this grip because getting this is great. And then now once that's there, you can just cut off this zip tie. So here, you need it once, so you have to go to the other sections where the green and blue tubes intersect. Now for step uh, 10, we're going to install the hardware here. So on hardware pack 1 and 2, it's going to be one of the M832 bolts. Uh, in case you use those, you there's a few more down here. Same bolt. So get the bolt. Looks like this. You'll add one spring washer to the smooth section, one flat washer, and then to the opposite threaded section, you'll have one flat washer. So here, I'm going to line the holes on this, just like I did for the previous step. I'll tighten this up as needed to get the holes to align if I can. I can't see a clear opening, so I'm going to use the ground stick again, one of these ground sticks. Just put it through and try to find a way through all the tubes. So here, see I got it through. I'm going to try tightening up the zip ties a little bit more, see if that will help me to get my bolt shaft through. So here, I'm going to get the tube section of the bolt, line it up with the hook, and then have it guide the thread through. And here, if you look from this side, you'll see that the tube is right there waiting for the thread section. I'll just get those two to meet up. Just hand tighten it so it's good. They won't escape each other. And then for the zip tie, I'll just cut that off after I've installed all the other hardware. Here, now that we have all the bolts installed, we're just going to come through and tighten up the hardware. So, when you're tightening up the hardware, just make sure there's uh, no gaps once you tighten this up. Like, if you were to look at the tube from this section, you'll see that the plates are sandwiched together nicely and there's no visible gap where you can see light coming through. So, let's tighten these black pug sections up. So, here I'll do this, and now we'll come over here and do the intersection of the reds and greens. Start tightening this up. And it appears tight, but I'm gonna do something where, where I'm gonna just shake the cage a little bit to see if the holes aren't aligned. And see if I can tighten up anymore. If I can't tighten up anymore, then I'm gonna assume that's good and carry on to the next section. Over here, before I tighten it, you can see this one. There's a whole bunch of gaps where light's coming in, like right here. Uh, right there, you can see some gap. So I'm going to start tightening it up and see how much of that will close up. So there, it appears tight, but uh, there we go. That seems good and tight. You no longer see the gaps of light coming through. So just do that through the rest of the sections. Uh, there's also these pucks up here that you want to tighten up. 
you can see there's a whole bunch of light coming through right now currently. Now that I've gotten all these sections with the rubber bumper, black plastic rubber piece tightened, I'm going to go around and tighten up the sections without the rubber. You can fold this way. You would come and open up the little turbine hook, bring this around, hang it around, and then get the hook to catch the other side of the rope. Close up the little carabiner. And just let that self adjust to that. And then the swing is installed. 